There's a lot of details, a lot of things. It might be a little chaotic, so I'm here to guide you through it. My name is Paul, this is Luke. Here he is. Uh, we are Twins Us, and we are gonna take you to Marceline, the hometown of Walt Disney. Today we are in Marceline getting ready for a huge event with uh, Citizen Watches. So we're really excited about if today. If you haven't heard, on June 3rd, there's going to be a huge 100th celebration for the Walt Disney Hometown and the Hometown Museum here. Yes. So we're trying, basically we're doing some philanthropy work with uh, Citizen Watches and we're trying to raise money for the museum. So it's not a sponsored post or anything like that, but it's definitely um, a collaboration with Citizen, with Citizen yeah. to make, raise money for the museum. Obviously this is pre the event, but we are here earlier Basically to, figure to everything kind of out. figure everything out and to give you a little backstage look into what it's going to be like on the day of the event. We walked in and the ladies at the front desk were like, oh my gosh, you guys should recreate this photo. So we're doing, so that, we're doing that right now. <laughs> we're getting our photo. The win. The win. We just made that. that just we just remade. But I really want to Photoshop this into it. Into it. So I got to figure that out. So I'm going to see. I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, so, oh yes. Yeah, they're, 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 I mean, they, they go all back here. Oh my god. Uh, and then you know, all of these back here too. So. And clocks. You want to give one from this pile then? Yeah, so take one from this pile. Okay, cool. Right here. This is where it's going. That's where it's going. Right here. You are the clock. Yeah. You are the clock. Right here. Okay, what are we actually doing here, Luke? We're actually going to go around with Citizen and we're going to help by gifting a bunch of clocks to the local community that has had such a big impact, not only on Walt, but his legacy leading forward. So we're so excited. And also, we're get, we're kind of like amping up some excitement for this event happening in June and uh, we get to actually do a little dancey dance. That's we're what we're doing right now. We're actually going to do dance. a little dance with some clock. Then we're going to actually present these to, to the different community members. And we're going to go into like the little assembly and the kids are, like they have a kid from each class going to come up and and Let's accept the clocks. clocks. And like the fire station, the police station, and like, you know, Most all that stuff. Know, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty gonna be cool. But we gotta find a spot to do this dancey dance. It is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the hands. I know, I love that. And it has that retro, like, Mickey design. Toots, you stay put. I like the, in the intro a lot. <laughs> Just loaded up some clocks, now we're headed to the school. You're on the third there. We gotta change out this clock, that's what we're doing. Walt Disney Elementary is unique because in the 80s it was given the license to use any past, present, or future Disney characters in the theming of their school. Now, before Walt died in the 60s, he sent his animator, Bob Moore, all the way to Marceline to do all the art you see all over the school. This just further shows how much this school meant to Walt Disney. <laughs> so cool. Mr. Toad. I know. Mr. Toad. Justification for Mr. Toad. Justification. Mr. Toad. You see Thumper? Uh-huh. Thumper gym class. Look at us guys, we did it. that weren't able to be in the assembly, so we're gonna go deliver their clocks to them. It looks great! Yeah, they prepared a song. Oh, how cute! <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> Welcome you guys to this event. We're also going to do a little dance for you. And then at the end, we're going to 
We're going to teach you a little bit of that. Thank you all for letting us come and visit. We've been so excited to be here in Marceline. Own oh, Airplane. This is the same Mickey Mouse that was in Walt Disney's own airplane. So you guys have a piece of history here now. Thank you, cards for Citizen Watch. That's what they're putting in the basket. Right, step. And down. Six, seven, eight, you got one. Two, three, four, scoop and five. Six, seven, top, eight, you got one. Two, three, up, down, push, one. Tap, up, and back. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. That was a highlight. They asked us to teach a section of it to the kids, so we got to introduce ourselves and kind of talk about what we do. We taught two or three eight counts, and the kids all picked it up great. The teachers were involved. All the older kids, all, all the students all the way up to eighth grade were involved and, and tried. And, and even the boys. Even the boys. It was so loved it. awesome. And I, and they all wanted pictures after. Oh, it was so sweet. Chamber of Commerce is actually in Magnolia Antiques, so the Chamber of Commerce is in the antique store. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's go talk to the chamber. This this K is the the girl holding the pillow in this picture, and she is and the Miss Marceline in this picture. She's with us. And look her. in the flesh. Look at her. We know her. We know her. She's right there. <laughs> we had a festival here celebrating cartoonists for almost 25 years. Wow. Yeah. You got the cream of the crop. We Look did. at this, man. Incredible. Like legends. Yeah. We, had, we had so much fun with those people. It was the last night. And you know, they come and they go, now, nah. they go, I get it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's for Luke and I that coming here, it's like, I get it. Because a lot of these, okay. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Start, start with why. The why. You, should, you do that, Robert. Okay, yeah. I'll start with the why. Um, so, so again, you know, we work for Citizen Watch Group. We're basically, we're a $3 billion Japanese company. And with Citizen Brand, we have a partnership with Disney where we are the official timepiece of every Disney resort and theme park around the world. And so as we got to the kind of the 100th anniversary, again, no one needs a watch. We tell stories and, and collectible memories. Um, we decided to basically do the 100 years of Disney um, through timepieces. And so at D23 Expo back in, um, in September, we actually recreated, or we created a clock that you walked into. And each marker starting with two, three, four represented a decade of Disney. And at marker 11, 12, and one, we actually installed a replica of the Main Street clock in Walt Disney World. Life size. 16 Life size, feet. 16 feet, four inches. Um, and what? And it's going to be And it's moving to here, town. and we're going to dedicate it on June 3rd. So exactly. it's going to be the only park IP that has ever lived that's not decommissioned outside of um, the parks. So we're very excited about that. And we couldn't be more thankful than to work with Miss mm -hmm. Kay over here. Mm -hmm. um, and again, bringing stories and content and really doing what we do best in selling collectible memories. So yep. our objective, it was so funny when Kay said, well, when do you want to install the clock? I said, well, when do you want to fundraise? <laughs> mm -hmm. right. I'm like, let's turn this into something special. So yeah. we are all active in really making this a big day. So we're going to start with the street fair. We're going to have a clock dedication and then a fundraiser um, at the farm. But our objective is to get as many people into Marceline. I mean, the street fair and the dedication of the clock into the uh, museum garden is a public event. We want to spread the word wide. That's why we have our friends here from Kansas City who are also going to spread the word in their area. And honestly, 
we're a huge brand. We can sit, spread the word. Mm. So we're looking to really just branch this out, put Marceline on the map. It's the history is so rich here. The storytelling is, it's just, it's already here. We don't have to create it. It's already here. So to just bring that to everyone else and not to mention add a little clock dedication in there. So we're, we're so excited to be able to not just support the town, but the vendors local and also from a distance. Mm. And, and honestly, you guys, you guys are the most important. So we're excited. We're moving next door now to meet with the downtown committee. Chamber so, of Commerce, downtown, downtown committee. Yeah, the nice thing about Marceline is it's small. This post office was renamed after Walt Disney federally. Like it's considered the Walt Disney post office. They are now in talks with the government to get signage to reflect that name change. Pretty much what's happening is you have a daytime event at Marceline, which is like big, a big deal. Big, big deal. Um, there'll be street fairs. Basically what I was trying to say is that from 12 to 4, enjoy a one-of-a-kind street fair in downtown Marceline. You can expect live entertainment, food and drink, all designed by specialty vendors. Draw live with illustrator and longtime Disney artist Jeff Shelley. Adventure through the town of Marceline with the scavenger hunt. Watch creator Ryan R.C. Christensen paint a mural in the park. Collect a special cancellation stamp at the Walt Disney Post Office and so much more. At 4, there will be a dedication of a life-size replica of the Citizen Clock found on Main Street USA at Walt Disney World. Following the daytime event, there will be a ticketed evening event at the Disney Family Farm that will culminate in a Kiss Goodnight fireworks show. Only 300 tickets will be sold for that event, which will go fast. Where are we right now? We're at Walt Disney's home that he was raised in and Kay, who is the daughter of one of Walt's very good friends, owns this house now. She also own, it owns and maintains the barn. The, the barn and the museum. So she's a huge part of Disney history here in Marceline and we are at her house. This is like my happy place. I love it. Fireworks over there, kiss goodnight. Kiss over goodnight. The fire, uh, over, over the, the lake. Over the lake and then the Walt barn and all that. All walkthrough. the dedication and stuff, the clock. And then the tent's gonna be over here. Oh my gosh! Did you get what? Emotional when I go to the barn. This is uh -huh. where the tents will be. Yep. I love it. This is where the speakeasy is. Over there, right? Yeah. yeah. See this is speakeasy? Yeah. We are testing the menu for the evening event. This is our Sam, nice to meet you. This is Upriver. They're providing some of the seating and like decor, plus some appetizers and bar for the Citizen Speakeasy, which is a VIP lounge at the evening event. So everybody's going to be getting one of these, and we're doing a toast to Walt. Scotch mist. Scotch mist for Walt. Lots of cheers. Lots of cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. 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 Yeah, it is very good. fantastic. Yes. exciting because these are actually cherry coke jello shots. Walt loved jello, so here you go. Mm. The, the voting is in. I don't know if everyone's going to be happy. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, the no. drama! The drama! <laughs> we now headed out into the swamps, which was really kind of terrifying, but what was really cool is we actually got to see Kay's cabin on stilts! It all gets underwater. Oh, this is all flood. It all floods. We had it eight feet up where the concrete is, yeah. and the Army Corps of Engineers said after the last flood, unless you raise it above flood level, you can't do anything with it. Oh. So wow. my brother and I came down here in a snowstorm. We got, we're doing it. So, <laughs> this is crazy. Do you guys see this? Look at how high up it is. Kay invited the vendors and other volunteers over to the cabin to talk through all the details for the event and what different offerings we were going to be presenting there. Luke and I found out that night that we actually had the opportunity to teach a dance class day of event. So if you are interested in that, you can come out to Marceline and learn from us. This is Kay's house. Look at this. Flood of 21. Got up this high. Flood of 1995. Look how high this is. And then look, these are the numbers 20, for feet. How the water level. We just thought it was so cool we had to film around it before the sun goes down. Yeah. So we haven't even been inside yet. We're in the house. This is Kay's parents. Oh my gosh. Mom, so mom and dad. dad. I 
first went to the park, it was 2016, uh, we went after a conference, I almost didn't go. We went and we walked into the park and I said, what is this magical place? Since I got to see Paint the Night for the first time, that was like, I fell in love with the park. A little bit after, my friend moved here and he was like, we need to go to Marceline. And I said, what's in Marceline? Because that's Walt's hometown. I mean, came, when we got here, I was, you know, we were looking around, we did the museum thing, and I, I told Kay this, I said, I came here and I fell in love with the legacy. I fell in love with who Walt was and what his vision was. And I saw it as a big picture instead of just the parks. It was suddenly much bigger than that. The obsession was really born here. The real storytelling, it's the unlock of the treasure. Thank you guys all for being here. We love the, all the support. It's amazing. Like, you feel the love in this home right now. Seriously, thank you on our behalf, really. Marceline is a significant and influential part of Disney history. This event was created to raise money for those who keep the beginning of Walt's legacy alive. And you can get involved too. There are options to participate in a silent auction or give donations directly to the Walt Disney Hometown Museum. So bring your friends, bring your family for Walt Disney's Marceline, a celebration of a moment in time. That's it for this video. We'll see you in another video real soon. Don't die. K-bye.